welcome back to my channel. It's such and such girl, you know what I'm saying? But like I Hey guys, this is my random ass outfit for today. Um, ignore my trash can. Yeah, this is my outfit for today. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on all day because I got um, mom kid stuff to do. But yeah, I'm about to run to the bank. Um, Corey's dad is watching her for me. Um, But yeah, um, and then I'm gonna do some hair, and then I guess I'm gonna take Corey to Chuck E. Cheese with her little home girl, and um, we gonna go from there. We'll check back in. We'll tap back in. Yeah. Um, like I was saying, I excuse me. I'm trying to. It's 10:11, and I gotta go to the other side of town not like the other side of town but close enough to pay on my car and grab some breakfast and be back home by 11 so i can do my friend's hair um but if i take too long you know it's flexible because we were set for 12 but then my other friend wants to take our daughter she has a daughter like nine months younger than Corey. she wants to take her take them to chuck e cheese um so we can do that and uh then i have like the afternoon to like kick it and do whatever but i don't have any plans but I also have, I just recently discovered, I have tomorrow available as well. So I want to get some like girlfriend time, some time with the home museum, sometime this weekend. But it's supposed to be like raining, like disgustingly. Like right now, I woke up this morning at like seven. Y'all, my list is chapped. Y'all just gonna have to forgive me because whatever. But yeah, I woke up at like seven and it was like pouring down rain so i'm one of those people like when i go i mean when it's raining outside i don't like to do nothing and my homegirls are the same so <laughs> so i don't know if i'm actually gonna do anything this weekend and it kind of sucks because like i've gotten to the point i don't know when i'm gonna be able to do stuff because like you know i do like to have somebody to like watch corey and everything and with her dad having a new job like the schedule is totally like warped he um doesn't have the same time available as he used to and then like for the most part um i pretty much only ask his grandmother to watch corey and she's out of town so like I don't it's a rare occasion right now it's kind of rare occasion so but it's all good oh my gosh y'all they drive so crazy out here it's all good um going with the flow is my life and I'm a schedule type person so like I've been trying to like come to the terms of letting go of routines okay so I noticed like like <laughs> this morning I just kind of hopped on the camera and I was genuinely curious like is it rude to like not do an intro because I noticed everybody be like hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's such and such girl you know what i'm saying but like i just hopped on here like my little montage and um then i was like this is what i'm doing for today 
So like, if I need an intro, if I'm missing out on YouTube etiquette, like, let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to do this right. <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome back. If you came back, <laughs> glad to see you. It's good to be here. Um, for like ever and Corey will not let me forgive her hair for it knows not what to do on her head but yeah so today oh my goodness why are you putting on your weight on me okay so today um I'm hoping Corey get feels better she had a fever last night and um it just her head don't look that bad in person y'all I swear But I have to go get some blood work so I'm able to go to work a little bit later. We're about to leave the house. And um, I'm going to go take her to school and go to the doctor. And well, not the doctor, but, you know, the lab. And um, get the day started. I gave her a Danimals pouch this morning. Usually they feed her at school. But since we're like an hour behind what we usually do, I want to put something on her stomach. And she's holding this little clear thing because I know she wants something else. But guess what? You gonna leave at home? Mm hmm So, yeah. Um, I don't film often. I think it's because Corey likes to be in my skin. She also doesn't like for me to be on my phone. She's been having a problem with that this weekend, so. Yeah. Um, so what's up y'all it's wednesday and i can't remember the last time i vlogged um i'm just now leaving work it's 5 27 but i need a little overtime times is hard it's inflation all that stuff so i'd like to have a little i'd like to have more than not enough or more than I just like to be ready. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Corey's birthday is coming up. Um, the holidays are coming up. So, I'm trying to get ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Comp time, too. Anything is everything. So, I guess I'm heading home. <laughs> I'm going home. It's a lot of stuff going on that makes it hard for me to, like, want to pick up the camera between me working overtime, me just being tired. Corey's in like a new phase right now where she knows she can communicate, but she doesn't have the words to communicate. So that's a whole new thing. We're trying to potty train. Like it's just so much at one time. And then like <laughs> still haven't told y'all about like other stuff. I guess it's kind of obvious, but you know, me and her dad didn't work out. So this is whole new territory for us. This is only, I think two months, like, so we're trying to figure all of that out and today's just this week i don't want to say that i don't want to i don't want to put a title or a an emotion on this week like i had five or ten minutes that was hard maybe an hour that was hard maybe a conversation that was hard but the whole day itself has not been hard it's just of some of the parts in the day that have been hard so i'm about to go home and um I really want a piece of cake, y'all. I don't want a piece of cake. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to go to Publix and get me a piece of cake and some wine. And then I'm going to go home. I'm going to try and work out. Hopefully, Corey lets me work out. It's only Wednesday. It feels like... It feels like Thursday. It feels like Thursday. I'm not going to lie. Um. So, yeah. And hopefully I do something fun this weekend and I can record that and I hit up with my girls and yeah, get cute. Yeah. Hey guys, 
I'm back. Um, it's Wednesday. Um, September 21st. So I just literally wasn't in the place to vlog like mentally. I had a rough weekend. Um, we're gonna ignore my trash back there. So right now I'm waiting on like this. I'm waiting on my dinner. Um, Corey's gonna be here at like 7 30 8 o'clock depends on how her dad's feeling but right now I decided to make myself something different for dinner that I don't have to worry about her eating so I got the Trader Joe's salmon burgers um I kept hearing a lot of stuff about it so it's it's these I don't know I don't know we'll see how it tastes I'm air frying it I don't know if there's instructions on what to do on how to cook it like the best way to cook it it's instructions on the box but I'm talking about like when I say oven air fry it because who finna do all that like honestly I like having an air fryer because toddler so there's that I am a little curved I haven't eaten um I'm drinking this little thing I haven't had a lot I'm just trying to finish it honestly at this point and I also got myself a little bit of wine. I haven't had this brand of wine. Well, this type of wine. I've had this brand. But I went to Cooper's Hawk and I found a really good... I did the wine tasting, like the four. And I did white wine. So I'm trying to find the one that I had there. We'll see. And I think this is it. What is this called? Sauvignon Black. <laughs> but no, um, there's this one. It reminds me of the red wine that Cabernet Sauvignon. And I think this is like similar to the white version of it. So that's what I wanted. Because the Cabernet, what if, I can't deal with it. But I love Merlot, which is like a more toned down version of that. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to. Because we're supposed to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every other weekend. This is supposed to be my weekend. But honestly, I was thinking about it last night and like throughout the week. And I'm just like, I don't. I found a TikTok one time and, I was, and it was saying about how hard it is to co-parent because like, you're literally interrupting moments that you have with your child and like as much as I love the free time I'm going to miss my child like off rip like for my birthday I did Thursday to Sunday without her and yeah I could have stopped by to see her because she's local and everything but like I think it would just disrupt the mindset that she had gotten into and I had gotten into as well. So this is like, you're on a journey with me. You guys are learning how to deal with the emotions of co-parenting with me. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Let me know. Um, I know there's different types of schedules and everything. So I don't know, like we can't necessarily do like a spend the night thing because he works earlier than I do like five in the morning type deal and who wants to be exchanging a child at four three four in the morning like that's not good for their sleep schedules and all that stuff so we're doing what we can right now um sorry I'm a little chaotic but like I also don't know how people find time to film their lives I think I said this on my last vlog like y'all really be picking up a camera and just going about it y'all trying to eat before she get here if you a toddler parent, you know you gotta eat before the baby is in your presence because she gonna she gonna waste my food. She gonna play in it. She gonna waste my food. So, <laughs> but nah, um, she should be arriving in thirty minutes to an hour. And I know that seems like a lot of time, but time be flying when you have fun. I gotta finish from Amazon today. I wanna set it up. cause it's a surprise to me here um i like these protective the dark reflective um cases you can see like it's dark to the side 
so you can see straight up but i like it because it's like i don't know hopefully this one um works a little better because it says high privacy and i trust that you can't see it but i trust that so we're gonna see how that goes and then i got a new phone case i like the ones with the card cases like the but i got tired of this thing and this fabric is just it's dingy it's giving you know um so i just got plain black it's tired of the dirtiness like, look at it it's nasty it's nasty it's not free and then i got a frother a milk frother because I'll be drinking the mochas and I have my greens in the morning. I'm that girl. Sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's it. That's my that's my mini Amazon haul. Um, but no, I actually got a gate too for upstairs. So now I can feel comfortable putting Corey in her room. I'm going to do that this weekend. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm probably going to put it at the gate tonight just because safety, but I'm like a little nervous. My baby going in her own room. She's about to turn two. Like this has been a lot for me. I really thought about what it was like to have a tiny human. And like. I know people say all the time, like your parents are people and they make decisions momentarily about what's good for them. And I totally get that now. Um, this past two years, like has been just a reality check of how I'm living my life. <sighs> and what I want her to see from my life. And I know I'm the first woman she sees when she opens her eyes in the morning. If she's a little girl, she's going to turn into a woman. So I'm. It, it's like a having a child puts a microscope over your life. I wasn't ready for that. Um, like, I was ready for the general responsibilities as a parent, of being a parent. But I was not ready for, like, she looks like me. She looks just like me. So I wasn't ready for like looking into my child's eyes and seeing me and wondering what I would think about looking at someone like me. It's really what it boils down to. What do you want to be seen as from your kids? And whatever it is that you think that you're being viewed as, are you comfortable with your child viewing you as that? That's a tough pill to swallow. You can't swallow it, change something. Whatever I can't swallow, what Corey is seeing, I change something. Um, if I'm not happy in my job, I'm changing what I'm doing for a living. So here we are. Here we are at YouTube. I want <laughs> to be able to create my own schedule, to create my own life, and to be happy. Look, I'll put my face on. Super slam. Oh, you. Um, and I might be going back to school soon to pursue some other career goals that I have in mind because my master's degree did not earn me the right into the field that I thought I should be in. Um, and I think the direction that my pregnancy and my postpartum has led me to is the direction I'm supposed to be in anyways. Life comes full circle like that. So that's cool. But when it came to I want to talk about that. Now. I want to talk about that. I'm going to make another video. I'm going to do like a get ready with me or something or like retwist my locks. Like lock talk. I don't want to retwist my locks and talk about it. I'm going to do makeup. I'm going to get ready for my night and talk about um I don't like people like this. What led to my breakup? We're going to put a pin in that yet again and um. As you can see, I'm still healing. So maybe that's why I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Okay. What up, y'all? It's Thursday. Um, and I had like a vulnerable moment. I was gonna come on here and like talk about what it's like trying to figure out co-parenting and all that stuff. But um, I'm still not ready. Um, but 
I did want to touch on what it's like working through depression and postpartum depression still and seasonal depression is right around the corner and I think I'm back in the point of my life where I don't want to claim depression over my life. Um, I have depressive moments. I have moments where I'm upset. I have moments where I'm sad, but I do not claim depression. I am not a depressed person. Um, and that's just my way of dealing with it. Because I feel like sometimes we learn these big words and we agree with their meanings and then we speak that over our lives and that's not what's going on. It's not that's not necessarily how we have to define ourselves. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about how important it is to understand the intentions you're setting for yourself and your life sometimes when you let your emotions consume you. Um, this week has been a little hard for me to pick up the camera. It's been a little hard for me to talk because I don't have anything positive to say. Um, but that's not the direction I want to go with this channel. I want to be real with you guys and I really struggle with any type of vulnerability. So the thing that's been kind of holding me together for the week is creating routine. Now, I'm not a 5 a.m. waking up type of girl that I need to, though I need to be, but I'm changing things in my life so that I'll be able to become that girl. <laughs> no, but honestly, I probably worked out like, I went walking Sunday, I worked out Monday. Tuesday I worked out Wednesday I did some light stretching before I went to bed and then this morning I did some more stretching um, and I want to do probably a leg workout but I said that to say I'm creating discipline in my life by doing something even if it's 10 or 20 minutes that will help me release tension in my life and to provide clarity. The other thing I'm doing is going to bed earlier. And the other thing I'm doing is trying to like finish my task for today. So like even editing videos, I haven't done that. And I'm trying to like jump over that hurdle of editing and I think it's related to producing a form of work and not necessarily agree with the fruits that I received from that. But I'm almost home, so we can check back in later. Um, I might just do a little montage, a little b-roll and whatnot. But I am planning something for tomorrow night that's a little different. A little getting ready, a little going out. Hopefully everything goes smoothly with that, but I'm very anxious to see if it actually turns Hey, so I'm finally making it out of my house on a Friday night like I've been planning on doing for months. Sorry for talking so fast, but you don't know how many times it took me to just say that. So me and the girls are going to Blue Halo. I've never been before. I was supposed to go last Friday, but new week, new blessings. And that's just how we're going to keep it rolling. So here's a little, I put on something simple. I'm probably going to have to wear my glasses 
so I didn't put lashes on and I decided to do a little color on the lip instead of like my typical gloss or the brown thing I just was in the mood to switch things up this time around and um I'm about to take some pictures ignore that because I just don't care right now ignore my sink because I'm cleaning over the weekend but yeah I'm about to take some pictures um in my little mirror here this is my curse I don't know if y'all remember that from like a haul months and months ago I got it at Target it's really different and it's almost ugly but that's to that to me that's what makes it cute so you know how it goes we pin on the shoes literally just for a picture I need new everything but now I understand what it's like to be a mom because you really don't be having time to buy yourself nothing or should I say a parent I'm sorry for moving this camera around so chaotic but I just wanted to see y'all I want y'all to see me in my groove and notice how the trash can is not going to be in my pictures. Okay. Um. Honestly, I'll probably throw on a jacket with this. A jean jacket. Thank you. The titties just don't sit up the same no more. Forever hating the feature of the music turning off. trying to record yourself forever y'all I know like sometimes I'll be coming over here seeming kind of late but I promise you I'm not but hey guys hey. back at it again back at it again I don't know <laughs> 